Good afternoon and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Thursday the 19th of September 2019 and the time has just gone 12.30 British summer time. And this week's Chart of the Week is the CAC 40 or as we call it on our platform here at CMC Markets, the France 40. Um, we're looking here at a longer dated chart and we can see over the last number of years uh, the, the, the French equity market has been in a solid upward trend. And we can see, despite the fact that there's some pretty severe sell-offs, uh, August into May and July into August uh, this year, the market has bounced back, and we're, we are potentially coming up to a fairly uh, significant level. This region here, in around 5,657, on a few occasions, this met that this region acted as as a, a resistance. So it's possible that the area might act as resistance again, or if we do see a break above it. That, we, that that could be uh, quite significant and we could see the market press on higher from here. Now, if you do look uh, at, the, at the very much in the, the longer term view and uh, we see where, where, the, where the, uh, the market was the last time it was above that metric, it was quite some time ago. We were talking in terms of time frame. We haven't been north, uh, we haven't been north say 5,000, up around the kind of 5,700 mark since uh, the back end of 2007. So giving an indication of how long ago the last time the market was, say, north of, say, 5,700. And if you do have a fairly sizable break uh, from, from, from the uh, from the level I'm talking about in around 5,700, apologies, uh, in around, in around um, this area here, we could be looking heading up to 5,700 or potentially this zone here in around 5,882. To look at, look at the chart on a shorter term basis, we can take a look at the uh, the price action. So if we do see any move to the downside, we could, we could um, potentially identify some areas of possible support. So we're, we're kind of testing this area here in around 5,657. But if you do see a move to the downside, uh, we might find some support come from this area here in around 5,537. Uh, a move below that could take us back towards the 50 moving average, this blue line here, and that comes into play at 5,476. And even if you go south of that, this yellow line here, the 100 moving average isn't too far behind that at 5,450. We can see that in the not too distant past, both of those metrics acted as support. And if a metric has acted as support in the past, it makes it more likely it will do so in the future. It's only really if you have a sizable break below the one day moving average, because um, then we actually begin to think, you know what, maybe the market isn't going to crack this, this area up here, and maybe we, maybe we could be heading back down towards the bottom end of the range. We could potentially head back down toward this, this red line here, which is the 30 moving average, and that comes to play at 52.84. And we can see in, a few, in the last few months, the market hasn't spent a whole lot of time south of 5,200, so we could potentially be looking at sort of a range here between uh, the market being... I kind of boxed in between say, in around 5,200 to the downside and in around 5,660 or so to the upside. If you are going to be trading um, the CAC 40, it is worth your while keeping an eye on what's going on on other markets. So, for example, if you take a look at the, uh, at the, the, the DAX over in Germany, we can get a feel for what's going on over there. And even though the DAX isn't an isn't uh, in as strong as a shape as its French counterpart, it's still in pretty good shape. You know, it was only it was only um, at the back end of last week where we had kind of multi multi um, multi week highs. The market has come back ever so slightly, but we could be we're still very much in the kind of wider upper trend uh, when it comes to the DAX. And Dow theory tells us that the averages must confirm each other. And if the if the, if the French market is um, teetering on uh, a multi year high. You, know, you, you would like to see other eurozone equity markets perform well also and we're not too far away from kind of multi-month highs which isn't obviously as, uh, as as impressive but nonetheless the CAC is clearly an upward trend and the DAX is clearly an upward trend and therefore while both markets are moving to the upside you can become more confident that markets are going to continue in that particular direction. Now it is worth pointing out that the kind of macroeconomic climate has changed ever so slightly has cooled down. We've heard from the ECB uh, last week now they didn't they, they weren't as, as dovish as as, uh, as some traders were expecting. We heard from the Fed last night uh, they weren't as dovish uh, as traders, traders were expecting. And in relation to the U.S. China trade situation, things have have cooled down. So um, we could see volatility um, 
in the in equity markets uh, 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 cool down a little. And as it is worth pointing out that the U.S.-China tr uh, trade relations are on, on the mend uh, for the time being. And keep in mind, some of the largest sell-offs we've seen uh, in recent weeks and months have actually been on the back of those particular fears. Uh, before I go, if you have any comments on this video or any of the other videos we've made here at CMC Markets, please feel free to leave a review on Reviews. Thank you very much.